students, Miss Street here again. Today I'm going to talk to you quickly about microwave safety and then we're going to start on a microwave recipe. So here you see I've got my microwave, I've got it plugged in. Some things that we need to think about in terms of safety is uh, what if there was a fire inside? What kind of things would we do? So one of the things that we could do is just simply keep the door closed because by keeping the door closed you contain uh, the fire within and you also reduce the amount of oxygen that's exposed to the fire. You want to stop it and then if possible you can unplug it but don't reach through flames to do that. If it is something that's not containable uh, you can use baking soda on it. You could also alternatively use salt. What you don't want to use though is water. Okay, so please make sure no water's on fire. Make sure that you set the cooking time appropriately uh, to the amount of time that you need. Remember when you do put in time, for example here, uh, that goes in minutes. Don't ever start it with nothing in it. That's not good. Um, when you are cooking, make sure that you're not leaving the, the space and going somewhere else. Like I tell you that story about my niece who went to cook something in the microwave, she thought she put it in for one minute, put it in for one hour, then she got distracted by being on her phone. Next thing we knew, there was smoke and something burning in the microwave. So please don't do as she did. All right, so um, really quickly, I want you just to look here at the different things that could go into a microwave in terms of uh, the things that we cook in, because this is the biggest thing that you really need to pay attention to with the, um, in terms of microwave safety, is using a bowl or a microwave dish that is safe to go in the microwave. So I've got a variety of different uh, things here that possibly could go into the microwave. Now I'm making a banana uh, chocolate, or sorry, a banana bread in a mug. And so I've got different types of mug-like things that maybe we could use. I've got glass, I've got plastic, I've got metal, I've got styrofoam, I've got another example of plastic and another example of glass. So I want you to think about which ones would be safe to put in the microwave. I'm going to sort them. Okay, so now I've sorted with not safe, safe and questionable. Okay, so let's talk about the not safe. Never, ever, ever can we put metal in the microwave. So this is made out of metal. Never can we put my, uh, metal in the microwave. It'll spark, it could possibly catch fire. So please, never metal in the microwave. Plastic, this would melt in the microwave. So not any kind of disposable something, no. Styrofoam, never in the microwave either. And actually this can leach out chemicals. So for your own health and safety, other than a possible fire, you wouldn't want to do that because of the chemicals that could be released from here. Now this is in the middle because this is actually a sometimes maybe. And I was checking on the bottom of this cup and it actually says that you can use it in the microwave, but only up to certain temperatures. I wouldn't necessarily use it in the microwave. Uh, but my daughter did, she said, and I think it was safe. So as long as you're not cooking for long periods of time, this would probably be okay. Sometimes some plastics are, like Tupperware can be put in uh, sometimes as long as it's for short periods of time. Now generally glass is safe to use in the microwave or ceramic, such as this ceramic cup, which is what we're going to be making it in. But you should always check. Now this one actually is called Pyrex. Some t uh, forms of glass are meant to withstand high temperatures. Um, and that's usually what you can use, but a good rule of thumb is that you can put a glass into the microwave. Uh, just be careful of how long you're cooking things for. Um, so other than that, in terms of microwave safety, please make sure you're keeping your microwave clean. Uh, I had to clean mine out because we use it very frequently and there were bits of stuff stuck everywhere. So clean your microwave before you're using it. I also suggest using a splatter guard. We use this at home to help reduce the amount of splattering ha happening inside. The reason why you want to keep your microwave clean is A, it's a lot nicer than looking at all that stuff hanging from the walls, uh, but it also reduces the risk of fire. If there's a bits of stuff that are in there, they can catch fire and possibly burn. All right, so that's the main things that I need you to know about microwave safety. Uh, follow and watch my next video uh, on making microwave banana bread.